we don't need another Whitney Houston uh, movie. Okay. It's it's still too soon. Okay. You know, we you, love. You Whitney. was mad about the dude that played Bobby Brown. In no, because I, right? I saw the I accidentally saw the Lifetime movie, yeah. and I like trash. Well, first of all, like, and also like everybody knows I'm a I'm a fan of Bobby Brown. I read his book. Yeah. You know, and here's somebody who has been super transparent. Like. I read this book. I was like, I'd have kept that to myself. Um, no, nah, Bobby was open. But Bobby, Bobby was, was very transparent, not, you know, and have read it. I, I read the book by the time I saw the Whitney movie, and I was like, y'all just got stuff wrong that Bobby already wasn't particularly proud of, but, like, at least get it right. So, <laughs> I know we were talking about <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I and do, plus, I do, I and do. plus, you know, like, it, they, they got another move with this theatrical movie. Yeah. Like, see, the thing is, when you if if it's your family and your people who put out the movie, they're not going they're not gonna tell you the truth about how they're not gonna tell the truth about how much Whitney liked cocaine and you know. Well, look, let, let, <laughs> and, how, let, and how she had a girlfriend that whole time. Like, they're not me, gonna tell. Some tells me they're not gonna tell the truth. They're just gonna make it seem like she was she was of course the not. great artist that she was, and of course and not. Bobby Brown and all these other people brought her down. And I, you know, I'm not here for that. I'm not here. Let for, me ask I'm not here this. for the lies. Let me ask y'all this real quick before we get out of here. Who needs a, a a biopic? Who that hasn't had that that's not it's not come out yet. Who you know, needs a one? A few people that need biopics. Are we just what talking you, about what would you want to see? Talking- yeah, musically. Who who would be one that you would want to see? I think Snoop working on one is what I heard. Is he? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. Snoop is that working would be on cool. one. Is there anybody that stands out to you? I got one that uh, I think Jay Z would be cool. I'd like to see Outkast. Outcast would be very good. That whole uh I like to see Outcast. Yeah, that whole era. Like going up from the dungeon all yeah, the way that, up. That, that I'd would, love that to see tight. that. That would be, that would be my pick. Who you think, Jay Moore, that you would want to see? I mean, I would love to see Marvin Gaye, but I also know that if you you can't skip over the Janice, Come on now. some stuff Come on that now. you don't want to see. You, you, and you're gonna realize, oh, this dude was the beta test for R. Kelly in certain ways. Don't uh, we ain't we ain't we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. I'm just uh, saying because we're gonna tell the whole story. The thing is, there's a lot of y'all that do not, you know, want to know the truth behind your heroes. Like, I think a lot of like even with know. the James Brown pick, you think so? Tried yeah. to try, try to because uh, he had a birthday. Yeah, Chadwick would have been 46. He 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 was incredible. Do you know that movie is trash from a director standpoint? But he was amazing. You think so? I didn't and think here, it was trash. Here's why. The reason I always say this is because and shout out to Chadwick, man. Rest in peace. Um, here's why I think that movie is trash. The flashbacks threw me off. They were awkward. Mm-hmm. It broke up the succession of the movie. It's like, okay, so it starts off with him. I'm trying. What the? What was the first scene? Oh, it's when he yeah he shot his gun off in this. Right, driving in the truck, you know, and all that. It went to his property and the lady in the bathroom, all that. So it goes from that, and then it skips to like him and his pops and his mom, like and they shack in the woods, and then it goes to a performance in like the '70s or something. That threw me off, dog. Like that no, threw me I, off. I don't know, because it was such it's such a broad story. Like I, I think like it hit the beats that it needed to hit. Mm. Um, I'd have rather it just been. I don't know, like man. A straight I just, linear story. Yeah, like, like, I don't, yeah. I mean, maybe could, is that too long? They could. They, they would have had to do like a. That would. That's more of a TV movie. Type okay. Thing. Okay. Um, but you know, but even in the James Brown story, like they kept it real on some stuff that, like, if if James Brown was alive or his kids maybe made it, they'd have probably kept the part where he knocked Jill Scott down. Flight of steps or whatever. I don't. Maybe not flight of steps. That's that's from no. Uh, that, back into the like the from, dining room. No, that was, that's 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 from top five <laughs> where <laughs> they talked about what Tupac would be doing if he was still alive. Oh my god. But goodness. um, yeah, like you know, they'd have probably kept that. Just look, just like with the Temptations movie. Like I know that um, one of David Ruffin's kids is like, you know, my dad didn't die in a in a dope house or whatever. I was like, yeah, but he did die of a drug overdose. Yeah, he died of a drug. Overdose. I you mean, know, you, you being real. You worried about the particulars, but yeah, yeah, and and so this is that's why I'm worried about this Whitney movie. I'm like they gonna they they gonna make it seem like. What you think about the young lady they selected? She's not fine enough to play no Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston was you know a what? dime. Whitney she Houston, was a dime. you know what? Even she's a little she's a little skinny. No, for Whitney, my taste. Whitney was a dime, man. But, you know, Whitney like, was at the same time as Janet. And if I had a choice, I'm going with Janet. Oh, everybody's going with Janet. I never seen Whitney as this. F- I always view her like as an auntie for some reason. Whitney was cold in the man, body. I ain't never liked her no, like no, that. No, man. No, I've I mean, never liked her I like dance, that. I, I want to dance with somebody. Whitney was, yeah, was, was cold. Was that. She was cool. She still reminded you know, me but, of one of my aunties. But at the same time, <laughs> you know, she ain't none of them uh, pleasure principal Janet. Nah, Janet was the one. She couldn't it, get a quarter it, in them jeans, boy. I tell you on. what. To, 